Hi everyone, and welcome to the, what is a first video in 2016. I really hope you have a great day. Now let's start the new year by continuing our Computer Parts Explained series. Today we'll be talking about sound cards. We will touch upon this topic just briefly and really basically because um, in all earnesty, um, the topic of sound card is rather expansive, I would say. It's a huge topic, it's very scientific and super complicated. So we're just going to go through the basic for the purpose of this particular series, okay? Sound cards, as the name suggests, will take the digital sound that your computer creates and output it to your speakers or headphones. And it will do it the other way around. When you speak to a microphone, for example, that is connected to your sound card, it will take that analog um, signal and convert it to digital so that your computer can actually understand it. Generally speaking, there are three types of sound cards, in-build, internal, and external. Chances are you already have an in-build sound card because those sound cards are actually a part of your motherboard. So if you're running a computer, you have a motherboard, you're probably 100% have some sort of sound card that is inbuilt in them. It's an actual part of the motherboard that is dedicated to a sole purpose of actually processing your sound. Now, there are a lot of drawbacks to that because it, because it is a part of a motherboard, it will never achieve as high quality of sound as you could expect from other types, simply because of electromagnetical interference that is happening from the motherboard components and things that are connected to the motherboard. Think, you know, processor or graphics cards, they will output quite a bit amount of um, interference and uh, the onboard sound card, is, sound card is not protected against those. Now, with that out of the way, we can focus on internal sound cards. Internal sound cards are an add-on sound card, quite like your graphics card. Now, um, you'll need to open your computer and slot it in into like a PCIe or PCIe Express uh, slot quite exactly the same way as you would slot in your sound card. That does require you to tinker a little bit around your PC, so you know you need to be fairly confident that you can do it. Although, in all fact, it is really simple. There are many, many different models of um, internal sound cards, so we're not going to go through all of them, but the general rule of the thumb would be that if you spend more on it, you're going to get more sound quality or different type of options like 5.1 or 7.1 sound cards, so, you know, virtual surround, etc, etc, etc. There are even some internal sound cards that are, um, let's say, audio file grade. They're so good, in fact, and have such a great uh, headphones amplifiers that they are actually considered an audio file grade sound cards. And lastly, we have the external sound cards. Those are basically a boxes that connect to your computer via a USB cable. They usually fall quality-wise somewhere in the middle of the spectrum, although as with everything in life, there are certain, let's say, exemptions from the norm. Now, external PC sound cards would be probably really good for people that have um, really small PC cases, or for example, are not comfortable tinkering with the insides of their computers. Or it could be simply is that you have a very high-end computer with multiple graphics cards and you just no longer have a space for it inside of your computer. The choice is, as usual, entirely up to you. Just think about it. Are you happy with your onboard sound? Well, then maybe you don't have to upgrade at all. If you're not happy, Think about whether you're comfortable in, with tinkering inside of your computer. If you are, great. If you're not, that's great too. There are options for both. Or maybe check inside of your computer whether you actually have the space for, you know, for a new sound card. And if you do, then get an inbuilt one. You'll save on some cables and on some external boxes. But who knows, maybe you actually need an external sound card that will have some sort of extra connections that, that, that you might need well, then you will need to invest in an external one. It's all up to you and your particular needs. Just know 
that this is a gradation. On the lowest end, you'll have inbuilt uh, sound cards. In the mid end, you'll have external sound cards. And at the top end, you'll have internal sound cards. As usual, I will link few good um, choices or few good tips from all of the types in the description box down below. When it comes to sound card, just remember this one simple truth. As with, as with many things in life, the more you pay for it, the better quality you will get. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that episode. And if you did, don't forget to go crazy on that like button down below, okay? And while we're at it, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one, because there will be more videos like this coming out. And if you would wonder what to watch next, here are a couple of um, examples for you. Here and here or there. Somewhere there. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And until the next time, take care. Thank you.